Okay, just now we learn about HCF, right? The short form for HCF, or rather HCF actually means highest common factor. So now we are going to do lowest common multiple, which is known as LCM. Now, let's list down the factors for 18. So we say that 18 is 18. And 18 times 2 is 36 and the list goes on all the way to 180 and of course it will still continue on and on right now for 30 similarly we will list out the multiples as follows now since we want common we want the same multiple so the first one will be 90 the second one will be 180 and the question is what is the lowest common multiple? Lowest means smallest. So I want the smallest same multiple. So in this case, it will be 90. Think, think about it. Is there such a thing called highest common multiple? Is it possible? Mm, write your answer on the notes. Right? Then let your teacher go through with you. Now, but then again, this is wasting a lot of time. If I have a number or numbers and I want to list all the multiples, it will be very slow. So how do I actually do it very quickly using prime factorization? We know this is 2 times 3 square and 30 we know earlier is 2 times 3 times 5, yeah, that's it, right? So it's not the same as of highest common factor, but this is how it goes. Now, for lowest common multiple, first we will choose uh, now. I don't want you to mix up the word common and choosing only the common numbers between the two now. However, understand from the word multiple. Now, multiple means the numbers must be bigger than 18 and 30. And how to be big means I need to choose everything or choose all. Right? Uh, when I say bigger than 100, bigger than 18 and 30, you simply need to look at these numbers. Now look at all these numbers. And all these numbers are bigger than 18 and 30. So let's start. Huh? Now look at the first two numbers. 2 and 2. So obviously I'll just select 2, right? Now the second one, 3 square and 3. So since I want multiple, the key idea is multiple, I want everything. So I will not choose just 3, I will choose 3 squared. Now 5, same thing, there is no 5 here, there is a 5 here. So in this case, I will choose 5. So I work this number out, note, uh, you cannot write this as the final answer. So this is not the final answer, answer, no, this is wrong. The final answer is you need to press your calculator and calculate this number. So in this case, this will be 90. Okay. Now, let's run through an uh, example where I have uh, LCM and HCF. Uh, let's say this number 1 is... Uh, let me create some numbers. Huh? 2 square times 3 cubed times 5 times 7 let's say this number 2 is 2 times 5 square times 7 cube okay now note that uh, the way I arrange my number the second number does not have any 3 so I purposely leave a blank there so then it's easy to compare column by column eh? get the idea now, say for example, I want to find HCF and LCM. Now, pause the video now and try 
to see if you can get the number. Okay, now, so let's continue. Uh, we know that for HCF, F is a factor, right? And factor, it must be smaller than these two numbers. So in this case, I will be very stringent. I will only select uh, those that are common, that those that are the same, that are repeated. So in this case, the first one, 2 square and 2, I will only select 1, 2. 3 don't have, because the second number does not have a 3, so I will not select. 5, I will select just 1. 7, I will select just 1. So in this case, uh, the HCF will be 35 times 2, will be 70. Okay, now for LCM, however, I remember that multiple, it's bigger, right? This is bigger than the two numbers. So then what I need to do is I need to select everything. So in this case, 2 square and 2, I'll select 2 square, 3 cube. Then below there's no 3, but I will still select 3 cube because I want as a number as big as possible. So in this case, I will have this number multiplied together and then this is the final answer.